What is going on, the Catch fam? My name is John Dawson, and in today's video, we will be comparing wide receiver Justin Jefferson versus wide receiver Jamar Chase for the 2022 fantasy football season. And out of the two receivers, which one I would personally be drafting. If you do enjoy today's content, make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe down below, join the Catch family on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and of course, Drop a comment down below and let me know who would you rather draft, Justin Jefferson or Jamar Chase. All right, first, let's take a look at Justin Jefferson. Finished at wide receiver four last season in full PPR scoring format and in standard scoring formats as well. Finished the season with 329 points in full PPR, an absolutely monster season. 167 targets, 108 receptions, just over 1,600 receiving yards. About 14, uh, just under 15 yards per catch. So a really, really good mark there. And then 10 touchdowns overall. He had a phenomenal season, right? Uh, don't get me wrong. Dylan missed a good amount of last season. So for some people, you could argue that Adam Thielen's absence from this offense maybe helped Jefferson to some degree. But I really think a majority of his monster sophomore season just had to do with him being an absolutely phenomenal, dynamic, very, very consistent wide receiver. Here's what we know moving in to next season. Kirk Cousins is back with the Minnesota Vikings. So that chemistry that they've built up over the last two years is going nowhere. This offense gets an upgrade at the head coaching position. So we might see a little bit more dynamic firepower out of this offense. I would surely hope so with some of the talented players that they've got on that roster at the running back receiver and even tight end position with Irv Smith coming back as well. So I do think that Justin Jefferson coming off of a very, very good season where not only he could get you very, very big numbers, also just offered a ton of consistency. I do think that Justin Jefferson is honestly my wide receiver too at the moment. If you go for more consistency in your lineup, I think that Justin Jefferson is definitely one of the number one receivers to consider going out and snagging. You'll probably have to pay a pretty penny for him. We've seen him go anywhere from pick three to pick eight in our subscriber mock drafts here at the catch and through. Other platforms that we've been mock drafting or even underdog live drafts, we've seen him go at the same mark anywhere from pick three. Have not seen him last past pick eight, though. I think he's going to have another phenomenal season in his third year in the league. I would not be surprised if he improved upon what he did last season statistically, and I would not be surprised if he, at the very minimum, gets you that same floor between 15 and 1600 receiving yards, over 100 receptions, and between eight and 10 touchdowns. I think he's a lock for those numbers. As long as he stays healthy, I think he is easily in the competition to finish as wide receiver one, and without a doubt, a top five receiver in 2022. All right, let's talk about Jamar Chase, who's very similar to Justin Jefferson in the sense that he had just an extreme breakout rookie season, just a monster, monster rookie campaign, a top five receiver in full PPR scoring formats, a top three in standard scoring formats, 302 points in PPR, just a monster, monster season. 128 targets from his boy Joe Burrow, only 81 receptions, but you got to kind of factor in a lot of those deep balls in there. This didn't have to do with the amount of drops that we saw him have in the offseason going into 2021. Finished just under 1,500 receiving yards, about 18 yards per catch, which is just absolutely crazy. 13 touchdowns overall, a very, very good year. We know how incredibly explosive Jamar Chase plays. And different from Justin Jefferson, who is very explosive at times and makes those big plays, but from a fantasy standpoint, Jefferson offers you that consistency while Jamar Chase offers you a lot of upside. He might have some weeks though, like week 15 with Pat Sertain on him, where he only gets you one point. Then week 16, where he drastically improves at 19 points. And week 17, where he just goes absolutely crazy with 55 points. So can you play him as a wide receiver one? Yes, he's a lot like Tyreek Hill. You just have to factor in those weeks where he might get you under five points. 
but is he worth having on your fantasy roster as a wide receiver one because he has those weeks where he can get you 20 to 50 points 100 percent at the same time if you can strategize and make him your flex receiver somehow right get a brandon cooks later on a jalen waddle a hunter renfro whatever you have to do where you can play chase comfortably as your third receiver that is phenomenal. That is where I think you should try and have them on your roster. Just a matter of can you strategize that within your draft. Now, I'm not saying the numbers at the end of the year aren't wide receiver one worthy numbers. I'm just kind of putting out that hesitancy in terms of, I mean, similar, like I said, to Tyree Kill. You can't rely on Tyree Kill every single week. But at the end of the season, he gets you wide receiver one numbers. You know what I'm saying? So if you do play for upside, I definitely, definitely think Jamar Chase is a draft pick worth your time. But just keep in mind, there's a little bit of inconsistency there. Now, when we're looking at the Bengals offense moving into 2022, they are one of my favorite fantasy offenses to be targeting. Joe Burrow comes back. I think he's going to light it up in his junior campaign. The Bengals really, really bolstered up that offensive line thus far in the offseason. Who knows what they're going to do in the NFL draft. You got Tyler Boyd at the wide receiver three, kind of a slot guy. You got T. Higgins, one of the best wide receiver twos in the entire league. I like the addition of Hayden Hurst to this offense as well, replacing CJ Uzma. So I love this offense. I really, really want as many pieces of this offense as possible. Somehow talking about them, I forgot my boy, Joe Mixon, who you guys know I absolutely love as an RB1 moving into next season as well. I think this will easily be one of the best offenses in the whole league next season and one of the offenses that I will be targeting multiple pieces on moving into the 2022 fantasy football season. So now we have the question, who would I personally draft as my wide receiver one? Like I said, if you play for upside, I think Jamar Chase is the selection here as we've been doing more live mock drafts through the Yahoo platform specifically, we're seeing Jamar Chase go in the top five when we've done live underdog drafts and we've also seen him in that top five as well and we've seen justin jefferson at that same mark anywhere between picks three and eight whether it's a live underdog draft whether it's through yahoo whether it's in our personal sleeper mock drafts with you guys with the catch fam we've seen him go very very early for me as much as i love that Bengals offense i think i'm going with jj as the receiver that I would personally draft for my fantasy roster. I think I would personally stick with that consistency. You guys know I've been sold on Justin Jefferson all off season, but it's very, very tempting when you look at a player like Jamar Chase, just knowing that amount of upside that he offers you. Don't get me wrong. There was a point last season where he was very, very consistent, but he still is going to offer some of those lower point games as well. And once again, don't get me wrong, Justin Jefferson had one or two of those, uh, really only one uh, week eight at Dallas, right? And outside of that, he was getting double digit fantasy points every single week. So it's not a knock on either receiver by any means. I still love Jamar Chase. If that's where your conviction is out, out of these two receivers, then I'm good with it. I, I'm not going to argue against it. But for me personally, for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to go with Justin Jefferson as the wide receiver that I would select between JJ and Jamar Chase. And that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's content, be sure to hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button, baby. Join the Catch family on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And please drop a comment. Let me know between these two receivers, who would you personally draft, JJ or Jamar Chase? And with that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching and or listening. And remember, you saw it here on the Catch.